Hi everyone, it's me Jamshed Raza from ProfessionalTutorial.com and in this video we are going to learn that how we are going to install cPanel in Windows 10. Of course we can install that and in this video I am going to show you how we can just do that using Windows 10. Now let's get started. Here I have my website and if you have not just went through my website just go to professionaltutorial.com and find more amazing videos and articles about different how to uh, difficulties which you are going to find out and if you have not subscribed my channel just go to professional tutorial and subscribe that channel and thank you everyone for just completing 3000 subscriber and that all are due to your your likes and your support that I reached today to that point and now let's see how we can just go and download that one and when you are going to come in professionaltutorial.com I will provide the link as well to the video to this video where you can download the Apache and here you can come or uh, in Apache Zim and here we have like download configure apache and uh, if you have not installed them in windows 10 find out the link below to install and here you can download that one and other than that if you are going to come in google.com which we have like google.com and here you are going to write simply them and them uh, server and you will you will just take to the installation here and uh, you can download from here the file which is windows linux and os for every version you can download right now since we are just uh, downloading that for windows 10 and i'm installing that in windows 10 therefore i'm going to download windows 10 i have already downloaded that file and it is here in my desktop and when you are going to click that one you will see that here is ZAMP and you are going to right click that yes and after that one you will get like this logo which is bitnami and uh, it is giving some warning that important because an activated user control panel we don't care about that one right now just press ok and we are going to press next everything should be here and because we need uh, mysql mozilla mercury mail server and tomcat php my admin all that is required for your future project therefore we let that as it is and just press next and here we have a folder if you can change that but i take that here because it is more important to be here now press next and uh, uh, again we have like uh, it will be working for the most popular wordpress website and we have joomla as well and different other uh, uh, application for web application or web design then learn more about bitnami uh, for example i just check out that one because i don't need that and now i press next and it will start installing but for now i just uh, take that and make that video a little bit faster because it takes a little bit time then i don't waste your time let me fast that one and when it completes i will be back to you Now it is nearly uh, completed and it is installing the software and creating an installer which is 75% uh, right now 
and uh, it means we are near and now it is completed and uh, you are just do you want to start the control panel right now you just check that one and just press and finish and it will ask about the language just save that language and now you are going to come here start apache and it started and start my sql and now my sql is also started and now minimize that one and we are just going to come here and here we can access the local host like local local host and uh, just slash and you can enter that one and you can see now it is working all right and everything is fine here you can install you can go to php my admin and make some database here or you have all other information here and for the file which you are going to just make the file to browse for that one you are just going to come here and explore and you will bring to the xam which we have installed right now and you come here and you are going to click htdoc and here we can write one simple file like uh, let me just write something here let me bring my code editor and we are going to write uh, html like i'm saving that to c drive and in c drive we have them we have uh, htdoc and we are going to write here index dot html and here we write an html code and uh, test zamp and here we are going to write welcome to my website h1 and welcome to my website and i'm going to save that one and we are going to come here and just say index.html and if you don't believe that you can also do with php as well like let me just do uh, a php coding save that one here and i call it first dot php and here we write a php code first let me write html and in body i am going to write php and we have echo and welcome to my website and we are going to close that php right now and save that one and we come here and write what was the name of that one the name was first.php first.php okay we have welcome to my website and it means that the server is working fine and everything is great and one more error i want to just tell you that here when you are going to come in them and here apache will not start if your apache is not starting then you have to come in professionaltutorial.com i will provide the link for you as well and sometimes the port maybe there is a problem with the port and you cannot just access the website or maybe the apache server therefore if that them apache not starting in windows 10 then you have to click that one or you're gonna search this one but don't worry i will provide the link in my my uh, youtube website in the video which you are looking right now in the description you can check the link of that one as well and here is all the solution if you are getting any problem regarding the death one but for now i hope you got and understood everything how to install your cpanel maybe that is not a cpanel but a server where you can just check everything in php or Word, wordpress website or joomla website or drupal or e-commerce website which you are going to install that in local server for testing purpose and for customizing and all other things then that is one of the best way for now give me permission to say goodbye and i will be coming to you in next video but before moving to uh, say goodbye just please thumbs up that video share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe it's me jim for now give me permission to say goodbye